Hello, this is going to be a short video, partially because it's 90 degrees outside, I don't have AC, and I'm under a blanket to record audio, but I really, really wanted to talk about a game called Pick Pack Pup. Now here's the thing, this is completely real, this is not for dramatic effect. Literally, earlier today, I was considering selling my playdate. I got a playdate in, in wave one, the first set of 10,000 units that went out, and honestly, it has mostly just sat around collecting dust, and that's it. I have not been motivated to play uh, the first four games that got included. Also, I had to do a factory reset because of an internet connection issue, so all of my game delivery was delayed due to that, which I was really not happy about, and I just kept thinking, what is the point? What is the point of this device? Why did I pay for it? Why am I keeping it around? I could sell it for a decent amount and go on with my life, spend that money on something like bills. <laughs> However, as I said in my previous video, on the play date, which was sort of an impressions and, and overview after shortly after receiving the device, it really only was going to take one game, one solid game, probably an arcade style game, that I would want to play all the time, and if I just had at least one of those that gets included through season one or is available for purchase down the road, whatever, I would consider this a worthwhile purchase. It would suddenly become a device that I want to use pretty much all the time, or at least much, much more often. And here it is. Out of the blue, completely unexpectedly, uh, I finally got the, the third wave of Season 1 games, which is Lost Your Marble, something to that effect, and Pick Pack Pup. My gosh, it's very simple, really, in its premise. Basically, it's a match three puzzle game, kind of, although it really encourages you to match many more than three at a time, if possible, and to essentially load up multiple matches of various items on the screen at any given time before quote unquote shipping them out which clears them from the screen. On top of that it has this delightful angle of being a little story about a pup who needs a job, essentially gets a job at, his, at an Amazon warehouse and we've had plenty of games that have tried to go after and, and satirize the miserable working conditions present in Amazon warehouses throughout the world. A lot of the time that satire can feel pretty flaccid and unsuccessful and like yeah we know like you're not really adding much to the discussion but here I just think it's plain funny. You get these memos from the company Company that essentially give you your challenges or special missions for each level in the story mode. Even that adds to the, the world building, I guess, the storytelling, because you're getting all of this paper delivery. You're not getting this uh, through in-person interaction with management or anyone else, supervisors. You're just doing your work. You're completely cut off from everyone else for the most part. And they just decide what crazy thing you have to do next, going past your usual shift, working for some kind of bonus or earning more money for the managers. It's pretty darn good in terms of its satire on that front, but really it's the gameplay that works here. This reminds me the most of the Puzzle League games or Panel de Pawn in Japan, which I only recently got into and really love. All of a sudden I'm like a puzzle game guy, falling brick guy, luminous Tetris games, even the Mr. Driller stuff, and then Puzzle League because John Cartwright kept talking about those games. Fantastic, by the way. I've, I want to try to find as many of them as I can to play on various hands held specifically, and here with Pick Pack Pup, my gosh, it's just so satisfying and fun. The art direction is is lovely. The music is great. The song you're hearing now is, is one of the main tracks of the game. Honestly, there's not too much else to say about the gameplay itself. I mean, there is depth there. I'm not very good at it. I just started playing a couple hours ago. Also, the different game modes really challenge you to sort of interact with these puzzles in a different way. Some of them, there's no time constraint. Other ones, they really want you to move as fast as possible but there's just this core satisfaction to the gameplay itself. And again, this is exactly exactly what I was looking for from the play date and all of a sudden I'm like nope I'm not I'm not getting rid of this certainly not anytime soon pick pack pup alone alone there are a couple of other interesting games on the system so far nothing nothing that has encouraged me to actually pick up the device and play more play those games more than a couple times this is the only one so far right now that's completely enough for me I'm kind of shocked I really didn't expect this to happen at all I'm I'm back on board. All of a sudden, those inconveniences, my gripes with the system, my questioning of why I purchased it in the first place and why I've held on to it. I wouldn't say that all of that is completely eliminated, but at the very least, it's been set as 
aside for a good long while because I'm just going to pick up this game and play it quite a bit. This is a tiny little handheld. It is even more convenient and fast to start up and play than any other handheld I have, basically, than the, uh, the Retroid or even the Switch. Like, it's fast. It's very easy. There's barely anything on it, so navigation is nothing. It's, it's nil. And I'm going to be sinking tons of time specifically into this one game. Kind of crazy. Might still seem silly to hang on to it just for this experience, but I'm hoping for more. My fingers are crossed that we will continue to get stuff in this format. I appreciate that they are covering a variety of game styles and game types through the Season 1 game so far. Some are more puzzly, some are story-based, some are purely arcade experiences. I get that, but personally, the arcade -y stuff is exactly what I want from this handheld and this little game this little game that's under 40 megs <laughs> delivered that to me delivered hey that ties into the the game because they uh it's about shipping it's about delivering stuff that's all thank you so much for stopping by if you have a play date get on this one i don't i don't know what you're waiting for okay goodbye